Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to install Classfish server. So this is my Eclipse open. So uh, this is the plain Eclipse uh, window where I have not created any project. I will simply try to create the Glassfield server. So here in the server tab, we need to click on this link to create a new server. Here you will get an option for Glassfish. In, in your case, you don't get uh, uh, this class switch option then you simply need to click here download additional server adapters then here you will get some tools from where you need to select glass switch tools and then finish then after restarting your eclipse you will be able to see glass switch option here I will select glass switch 4.0 from here let me remove my uh, previous actually previously I have in, uh, configured it so it was showing there so in your case uh, it will show something like this after selecting this you need to click on next then from here uh, it is showing that there is no valid glassfish fish runtime in the specified directory so you simply need to give a path here pointing towards your glassfish package so from google you can download the glassfish server package simply type download glassfish server it will give you some links from where you can install the package and let me point it to the package I have uh, so I have my glassfish here so you need to select till here glassfish as you can see this is the path for my server where I have stored my package so simply select this you might also get a uh, error for JDK in that case you need to simply add JDK from here install JRE and here as you can see I have already added uh, the JDK 1.8 so I don't need to edit, add it again if in your case you, are, you don't have this then you can simply add it from this add option okay so let's do next and from here you don't need to give any password you can simply do next here as I don't have any package currently to deploy on the server so I will simply click finish so now as you can see you have classfish server at localhost showing here you simply right click on it and click start as you can see the classfish server has started in the console you can see some logs okay so by default this server is up on the port 4848 let me run it on the chrome localhost 4848 so as you can see we are on the glassfish console so yeah we have successfully started and installed our glassfish server so that's it for today thank you for watching this video if you have learned something from this video please give a like to this video and also do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching